Hello, YouTube. In today's video, we will be talking about which is better, soap and water versus antiseptics. And how can you use branch basics to clean your home and make sure that you keep bacteria at bay? If you want to know more, stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back in. This is me again, Dr. Giselle Martin, AKA Dr. Jazzy Fit, where we on this channel are doing all that we can to keep you healthy and happy in every way, shape, and form. All right, so today we are talking about Branch Basics, and so this is our second part, our second part in the series, where we are talking about the differences between using soap and water and using your disinfectants. Uh, and your sanitizers. And so, let's start with soap and water, right? Soap and water, disinfectant sanitizers. Soap and water is going to completely remove germs, bacteria from your, from your hands. Uh, whereas your disinfectants and your sanitizers are going to kill them. They're gonna kill them, but they don't remove them. So the, the germs will still be on your hands. They'll just be dead. And so therefore, getting rid of them altogether and completely washing them away is a much better option. And you might be asking, well, why? I want them to be dead. Well, they'll not be on your body. They'll be down the drain somewhere dying in the treated water. <laughs> so either way, they're gonna die. But I'd rather them die and not be on your hands than die and still be on your hands. And it's for a different number of reasons. So sanitizers can be very harmful because they can actually kill the good bacteria as well. We need our U bacteria, which is another word for good bacteria. We need our U bacteria. And so you don't ever want to jeopardize everything else and throw off the whole microbial balance of things by killing both the good and bad bacteria. That defeats the whole purpose. Um, that's why we take probiotics and all of these other things because we need good bacteria. Whether it's in our gut, whether it's on our hands, wherever it is, those things actually help maintain the pH and the balance of life. <laughs> you need bacteria. I know it sounds gross, but you do. So disinfectants can also contain toxic chemicals. Uh, these chemicals are not things that we should be using on our bodies ever, especially not when you are potentially immunocompromised. That's definitely not the time to start introducing them into your state of well-being. That's just not a good idea. So there's two reasons so far, killing good bacteria and containing toxins. Lastly, using too much disinfectant can create superbugs where you build up, these bacteria can start to build up a tolerance to what you're using. And so you have to use more and more and more and more to the point where the sanitizer that you're using is completely futile. And these bugs have built up this resistance to what you're doing to the point where they're not dying at all, which is kind of scary. So you don't want that to happen either. And I will add to that, that most times people don't use hand sanitizer properly to begin with. They will put it on and it's still wet. They start touching other things and that just adds to the gunk that's already on your hands. You have to put it on there and let it dry. You can't just apply a wet substance and then just go about continuing to do what you're doing. That's not how it works either. So me personally, I don't use much sanitizer. If I'm going to clean my hands, I'm just gonna go get up and go wash my hands and then come back. Even if you're at a restaurant, sometimes I know it can be an inconvenience to go to the bathroom. But hey, it's better for you to do that and eat your food knowing that your hands are are healthy and clean uh, than not and just, yeah. 
And again, like I specified in the last video, anytime you are actually scrubbing your hands, once you wet your hands, you want to scrub your hands front, back, between your fingers, under your fingernails, all of that stuff for at least 20 seconds. Two, zero seconds. All right, and so you, the way that you do that is you can sing happy birthday from beginning to end two times. That's gonna give you about 20 seconds of you scrub-a-dubbing under the water with your soap. Anyway, all right, so um, before I go on to branch basics, with your disinfectants, you wanna make sure that it's at least 60% alcohol, 60%. Uh, yeah, I mean, technically you could use a liquor, but that's a really expensive sanitizer. I don't know if you want to do that. It's up to you, but hey, I mean, hell, unless you like throwing money down the drain. Sure, why not? But <laughs> you want to make sure it's non-toxic and that it's at least 60% alcohol. Or in lieu of that, like if, if you want to... Um, disinfect your home. So what I've been doing and what I would recommend, if, especially if you don't like disinfectants or sanitizers, I will use my Branch Basics. So you can see I have the entire line here. And so I will either use the All Purpose or the Bathroom Cleaner and spray everything down depending on which room I'm in. And I use either Hydrogen Peroxide that has at least 3% of uh, concentrate and um, or I will use at least 70% alcohol again you can use what's in your liquor cabinet if that's what you choose to do I would not recommend that because it's a very expensive version of alcohol just go on Amazon get you some hydrogen peroxide and some alcohol the end call it a day so once you've done those two steps together you have done all you can do to combat the germs in your house. Um, so anyway, so let's get to Branch Basics. Branch Basics is a uh, non-toxic cleaner. And as you can see here, uh, you have your concentrate that comes, all of these things originally in your starter kit. Um, you have all these bottles. So you have your concentrate, you have your bathroom, your all-purpose, your streak-free, so that's like your window cleaner. This oxygen boost that you add into your laundry, so it whitens and brightens your clothes. Um, you also have this laundry detergent here and a soap dispenser. So you can order more of these if you need to. Uh, I have not, I just make it up. I have a... Um, other containers that just foam and so I'll just make multiple solutions. So the way that it works, you actually have here where you will sit, uh, fill this up with water up to this line here. And then from here to here, you will add the concentrate in this one. And so each one has different fill lines and it, you know, changes the concentration of each. So I just received this from Branch Basics. So a new bottle of concentrate. And a new oxygen boost. Yeah, that's it. And that's really all you need. And so this is a really super sustainable way of you know, maintaining the cleanliness of your house without actually having to rebuy all of these containers and everything else over and over and over and over again. The only thing that you have to replenish are these two items. So these two items are about as natural as you're ever gonna get, really. This is completely plant-based, it's plant and mineral based. And as you see, this is the concentrate. It You can use it for so many different things. You can use this to make, it says that you can use it to make all purpose bottles, um, bathroom bottles, street free bottles, foaming bottles, and laundry bottles, as you can see all there. Um, you can also use this on your hardwood floors. I use this for my wood. I use this for my carpet. For carpet, you use two ounces or four tablespoons per gallon in carpet cleaner. Um, you can spray the stains in the all purpose bottle, agitate it, and then 
you know, just scrub a dub and it will come out naturally. No toxins needed. So uh, this, again, this is Branch Basics, guys. This is what I use in my house. Um, there are other options out there. I'm just presenting something for you that is good for you and it's something that's actually going to work and keep your house clean. We want our houses to be clean. We want to be, yeah, as clean as possible. So anyway, that's it for today. These are, if you missed the first video, go back and check that out. Um, make sure you're teaching your children how to wash their hands properly. Uh, guys, one thing that the coronavirus or COVID-19 has taught us or should be teaching us is that a lot of things that we've been doing, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. Hand washing and being clean is one of those things. I know I sound very almost rudimentary, but I mean, I know sometimes it could even be an inconvenience to have to stop, go wash your hands, whatever. But if it means that we're gonna keep ourselves clean and it's gonna, we're gonna not be sick, then I think it is definitely worth it. <laughs> I'll take the you know, two minute trip to the bathroom and go wash my hands. Um, so guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let's be good examples and teach our kids and keep our homes nice and healthy uh, so that we can continue on this journey Call it life together, but do it well and do it better this time around. All right, so thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.